Okay, so here we are simplifying this expression, right? It says express it in simplest form. And all this means is that when we have 45 a to the fourth b to the third minus 90 a to the third over b over uh, times b, excuse me, over 15 a squared b. This means, okay, use every law of exponents that you know of and divide every number you can until everything has been reduced um, and you can't go any further. And it may or may not look simpler, so to speak, right? These are the word simplest uh, at the end, but, but really it's about using the laws of exponents when you can. So how do we do that? Well, I think what might throw most students off here is that they try to reduce, right? Because 15 or a squared does go into terms up here. But just remember that when you have an addition or subtraction sign in the numerator, what that really means is that, you know, here the first term 45a to the fourth b to the third over 15a squared b, right? is being subtracted by 90 a to the third b over the same denominator, right? If you remember anything about uh, fractions, when you add or subtract them, they always have to have the same denominator, so to speak. So here, it's as if they started with this, but then are showing you the simplified form over here. Uh, I mean, they're condensing it, so that's one denominator. And this is important because what this means is that as you break this down, you can't forget that you have to uh, kind of divide each term, both terms, by the same denominator. Now, this is not true if the sign was multiplication or division, right? As you can see here, because 45 is, is being multiplied by a to the fourth and b to the third, but that's just one whole term. Notice we're not dividing each part again and again and again by uh, 15a squared times b. If it's multiplication or division, right? that term is being divided by the denominator once, as you can see happening here and there. Once you have that squared away, the rest is fairly straightforward because in the first term we have 45 over 15, right, times a to the fourth over a to the square. I'm just dividing like terms, so to speak, and then b to the third over b. So the same variables are being divided and the same numbers are being divided. And you don't have to write this step out, I just want to make it clear for you. And then we have 90 over 15, right, times a to the third over a squared times b over b. Now you want to reduce, right? b over b is just 1. a to the third over a squared, we subtract those exponents, right? Basic law of exponents there. That's just a. And 90 over 15, well, 90, 90 times 6, right, is... 15 times 6 right, is 90, because 6 times 10 is 60, plus 6 times 5 is 30, that's 90. So 90 divided by 15 is just 6. Over here we have b to the 3rd divided by b, or just b to the 1st there, so it's b to the 3rd divided by b to the 1st. Subtract the exponents, we get b to the 2nd power. a to the 4th over a squared, subtract the exponents, right, that's a to the 2nd. And 45 over 15 is just 3. So 